the first feeling was shock, I would say, probably. Um, and then for me, I was sitting there and the doctor was, my, my OB who, who had told me, um, she was kind of, she was sitting next to me talking, kind of showing me what it potentially looked like um, and describing kind of next steps. And um, I was sitting there staring at the ground. Um, I couldn't really look at her. I couldn't really look my boyfriend in the face because I knew that if I looked up, I would just start bawling. Um, and I don't, I, I, I just wanted to be, for me, I was really kind of like phased out and focused on the ground and so that I wouldn't start, start crying. Um, and the moment I think that I, and I didn't, and once we got in the car, I remember I still didn't cry because it was kind of, I didn't want to believe it. I didn't want to believe that I had cancer. Um, I didn't want to say the word cancer. I couldn't. I probably. I couldn't say it. The word cancer for probably, I would say like a good two or three weeks afterwards. I honestly just couldn't. I, I couldn't bring myself to say the word, um, let alone think that it was something that I had. Um, the first time I cried, I think, was that night when I was going to bed. Um, I cried. I, I actually didn't cry too much during that whole process. Um, luckily for me, it wasn't uh, terminal cancer and they caught it early enough. So I think that I knew that I wasn't in real danger of dying. It was just going to be something that was going to upend my life for, for a while. And I was going to have some, probably some lasting effects from it um, going on. But I had a really great support system in, in my boyfriend at the time. Um, who used to be in the army, so I think that he's used to dealing with these kinds of things and being strong, so he didn't show really um, his concern for it, even though after talking to him afterwards, he, um, even from my asking him to come with me to the doctor, he told me that that was a huge red flag for him um, when it wasn't for me, and he didn't show any of that concern, and he was kind of very like steel-faced about it, which helped me be strong. Um, because I didn't feel like I needed to be strong for him. Um, so that, that was a huge help for me. But I, uh, yeah, I, my, I think my default is to kind of go inwards and, and kind of shut down um, to, to the outside.